Hello everybody, welcome back to Language Litigation and Integration Part 130, Casual Conversations 54. Uh, talking more about Roe versus Wade, abortion, Supreme Court, the Mississippi 15 week ban, good amount of talking points from there, a lot of random talking points past that. Again, at current times, I've now given up on a solid food breakfast at least. Again, I've not been eating dinner solid, I get through about 85% of it. But I'm being tortured. I'm being profoundly and extensively tortured. There's nothing I can do. There's nowhere I'm going. There's no one I can call. And so this is the current. Obviously, my geometry is not too good. Most these is supposed to be just like those multiplying charts where the top level has two and then each two has three. But obviously, I didn't line it up too well. But at current times, I cannot eat properly because I'm so profoundly socially isolated. And I cannot call law enforcement. I cannot access health care. I cannot access my property to leave. And I get harassed literally standing on my porch or sitting at the pool every other day at this point. They like they just, just they don't stop doing it. They don't know how to behave. They don't respect my rights. And there's like, like only like two or three options that could be occurring. So at the top level, we have the heads of states, and you might not be able to see the writing, but I'm reading it. The heads of states ordering torture of a, of a human life. That's me. And this is everybody saying, Eric Weinstein, direct quote on Lex Friedman's podcast. If you say this directly, you'll go to jail. These people must die for treason. Must die for fucking treason. There's the next level. Then you have does know, again, about my research, does know, told, told not, don't acknowledge anything. This is when I call the FBI and I say, it is what it is. Have you heard that in your office? And he says, no. And it's actually the structure of every sentence. So I guess no one has ever said a sentence in the FBI office in Cincinnati. But these are the people saying you're not allowed to acknowledge anything by the people who are committing treason in about 50 different fucking ways. And these are the people that blow up their buildings. This is Vlad Putin invading Ukraine. This is George Bush 9 11 ing the Twin Towers. And jet fuels actually doesn't melt, melt steel beams. We don't acknowledge Building 7 at all. And from a physical standpoint, if it falls down with zero air resistance, it's impossible. But again, all the people that don't know anything down here at our lowest level, that just are your average people that don't know anything, they don't read anything. And you'll ask them questions. I see a dude that keeps popping up on Reddit. He's just like asking people genuine questions. And he's just demonstrating their hypocrisy. And it's, it's rather funny. But these are all those people. Again, these are the 5 million subscribers of Ben Shapiro's channel. And this is every other worthless human life on this fucking planet. But, so, because like, again, just, just a couple, a couple, at the pool the other day, I met uh, Jason and John. Jason was from, he said he was from Austin, Texas. Some engineer, uh, like pharmaceutical engineer dude, but I had, a, I had a story from there, again, from from Grafton Park, there was a Vietnamese lady, and again, there's there's technology around to listen to me whenever I, whenever I speak at any point in time. There's probably, I don't know, 25 to 30 mixed between academics and law enforcement of some kind around me, basically all the fucking time when I'm doing science. And so, and then there's just my genuine neighbors. And so I told you about the story about this other guy coming up to me and saying, you know, what are you doing on your headphones? Again, I'm standing on my porch on a third story apartment building where there's no chance you can hear me if you're not actively listening. So if you're just one of these people that doesn't know literally anything, mind your own fucking business. Like, what am I doing on my headphones? Listening to music, listening to podcasts, reacting to podcasts. I don't really talk to myself. I'm just not allowed to talk to anybody, so I talk out loud. And watching stuff, reacting to things. And what, what, what kind of fucking question is that to a, to a, if a, from, a jet, from someone who genuinely doesn't know what's going on to me? Like, mind your own business. Like, what? But sitting at the pool, me, this dude named Jason, he was from Vietnam, and again, Jason could either just be, and again, like some like Prashant at Grafton Park, he, he clearly knew about the, 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 the UFO data, but then he said, he, he literally said, I wish you would have known. Again, because remember, he's the one that says, I watch you. So it's like, then there's also the people that, again, know something, but are told not to acknowledge anything. Just like, not law enforcement, not academics, people in the neighborhood or friends of them that just say, you know, don't, don't say anything directly interacting with them or something. And then, so it's like, then there's just those people. My point is the people that don't, does not know anything and the people that don't know anything, they will still come up to me and harass me. They get, they just, it's out, people don't know how to behave. But the, the, the story from Grafton Park was the Vietnamese lady walks by, she literally speaks no English at all, and she has just a little baby and I'm just waving. And then she says to the baby, annoy, and like wave. So again, I don't know any Vietnamese, so I, I, I think I just contextually read that as waving. Like, I don't know, maybe English annoy, A-N-N-O-Y, might be, you know, the literal, like, if you annoy someone, you might be waving at them. So 
That's, I just took that as a literal contextual translation. But so I don't know if the this, this this stuff's on record. But again, this could just be a lady walking her young child. But why would a Vietnamese lady say Hanoi to her child in like wave, like actual like language question? But so I met Jason. I went to a pool party. Met Jason. Again, these are people. I'm sitting at the pool, and people just come up, sit next to me, and say, "Hey, man, can I talk to you for a bit?" Yeah, sure. Why not? And so. Okay, again, just could be a pool party, absolute genuine neighbor. But then at that point, I don't like small talk. It's like, what do you do? What do you do? And again, I can't answer that question directly. I don't care to. Because at this point, I do own a bunch of businesses. So it's not even going to list them all off. It's like, I own businesses. I own stuff. And so it's like, fuck. But again, this stuff would not happen. If they're just genuinely people that don't know, then if you pay me my money, I can just buy a nice estate and not have to deal with people. And I like my privacy so I can do scientific fucking research. And so I can eat food. So I can remove myself from people who do not know how to behave so I can fucking eat. And the answer is no. We will not. I am allowed to suffer. Lux Friedman. It's profound to watch someone go through a profound psychological struggle. No, it's a bunch of insecure people that feel responsibility for nothing that torture somebody and get used to anything. People can get used to anything, including watching another human being be tortured. And nobody cares. You know, go to jail if you do anything about it. So again, I'm a man of equality. I want these people to experience life exactly as I have. Again, these are heads of state. These are people that like, kill people and start wars and shit. And if I so much as try to collect my property, they'll clear their belts and try to threaten to kill me. The two, the, every law enforcement officer that I've directly interacted with, with needs to go to j- jail to the, for the rest of their life, if not face capital punishment. Absolutely no fucking exceptions. I hate all law enforcement. Every single fucking one of them. Then I met another dude at the pool party, and his name was Jason. And Jason has a big, big American eagle tatted on his right, on his right calf. I've seen him a couple times at the dog park and at the pool, but again, comes up, sits next to me, and he's, you know, just talking to me, and he goes, we get the question, what do you do? I teach everybody. That's, that's the actual genuine answer. Teach them how, how to behave, actually. Then people steal all of my shit. They make money off of it. They start families. They destroy my relationship with my family members. They restrict me from having my own family. They restrict me from having health care. They restrict me from doing stuff, making choices for myself. Uh, talking to my, my neighbor, Adam, at, at Grafton Park, he had, he had two younger kids, I don't know, 10 to 14, and I'm singing one night, they walk by, and he's like, and the kid's like, wow, that kid can sing. Again, it's been, what, 18 months, a year since people come up to me, watch me freestyle steak and shake, like, wow, this dude should have already blown up already. Yeah, but I'm, a, I'm not a scapegoat anymore. I'm a slave. I'm a fucking slave. All of my rights are taken from me, and I'm forced to work, and if people want to abuse me, harass me, assault me, they can do so whatever the fuck they want. That is fucking slavery, and that is today. And so, my, my, again, my old neighbor Adam said, why are you still doing this? I still can't buy clothes when I want to. Look at all my new clothes. And again, I'm not that frugal. I'm frugal because I have to. I'm a fucking slave. I don't have rights. I can't own property because people won't fucking let me have it. And so I don't buy clothes for myself. I don't groom myself. I don't shave my pubes and clip my fingernails and I'm going to a sexy time and date with a girlfriend. I never get to be a fucking human being. Ever. I don't get to flirt. I don't get to interact. I don't get paid. I don't do anything besides work and get s- stolen from me. And so Jason comes up to me at the pool again and asks me, what do you do? And I literally say, make money. Like, I, I hate that. Even if I wasn't doing all of this shit, I don't like to talk about business. Like, we're at the fucking pool party. Let's talk about girls and play beer pong. For fuck's sake. And so I chatted with him for a little bit. And again, in this, you know, he's like, you know, what's up with the headphones? And I, I literally just, I listen to music, I listen to podcasts, I work from home, I'm not allowed to, and I wouldn't be here if I, again, could pay more money and travel some, but I would again, never be able to do anything a normal human being can do, I can't do. Leisure, travel, get angry if people are disrespecting you. I have to, as I said, as, again, Lex Friedman talking about me, again, t- does know, told not to acknowledge anything. He's just normal. No, again, I'm a slave. I have to behave normally around unnormal people because abnormal people, because you guys don't know how to behave. And if, it, if, it, if I misbehave once, or offend you once, my life literally gets worse. And so, I talked with Jason for a bit, and then we, we played a game of beer pong. It's pretty good. I told you I was pretty good at beer pong, but I just, I, I, I didn't even ask Jason what he did. I just, just assumed the bald eagle tatted on the right calf and asked me somebody on the military team. So, but we played beer pong for a little bit. Again, if you, if you do know, and if you do know, if you are a part of the academics or the law enforcement around me, you're going to fucking jail for interacting with me. I'm not fucking kidding fucking once. I have told you, do not harass me. And you keep doing it. And so, and, and if you don't know, it's still 
the law enforcement's fault because I want to be here. If, so if it's just genuine neighbors, I don't like small talk, and I don't want to be disrespected. For fuck's sake. God, God. And then again, stuff, and again, in the past 18 months, I don't think I have gone legitimately more than a week without active harassment. Like a week. Uh, and different things. They're all documented. All of them. And then again, this has been happening my entire life. My 20s have been infinitely worse than my fucking teens. Infinitely. It's the same bullshit with financial stress. The most profound inflation of all times. Go make your own money. My mom opening my financial level mail with a multi-million dollar net worth. Thanks, mom. As I'm trying to sue everybody. But do, will people treat me with respect? No. They do not know how. Ugh. So, a couple more... Uh, actually, tr on the same type of note, because again, these all people have confirmed definitive UFO extraterrestrials alien life to me. And again, I've confirmed it to them. I'm the one disclosing information for fuck's sake. What else am I doing on the headphones talking to aliens? Just kidding. You guys don't need headphones to talk to aliens, by the way. But, um, just, just literally the words, because words have meaning. Extraterrestrial versus aliens. Linguistically, what could that mean? Extraterrestrial, extra Earth, or not terrestrial, not from the Earth, not from the land, maybe the water, like the Atlantic Ocean, for Sean. There's a lot in there, aren't there? Maybe, yeah, maybe that's that. Maybe it's the amphibians in there. But I so saw Eric Weinstein tweeted, We have one part of the U.S. government saying these things happen all of the fucking time. And yeah, that's an understatement. That's an understatement. What, is, what does India do when a, new sen when a new country comes online? The new country says, Holy fuck, that's real data. And it is. All of it. So, but we have, again, just extraterrestrial versus aliens. I think extraterrestrial could either mean, again, another Earth-like planet or, um, uh, meaning water. Life not from terrestriality. From the water. And then aliens, that's galactic shit and intergalactic shit. But interesting, remember, right, I have a direct quote. We have big teeth. Which I, we talked about last episode of very common without effect or pronunciation. I guess it would make us sharper in our pronunciation. Conjecture. But smile. You imagine your five-year-old and your mother says smile. What does she want you to do? She wants you to show her teeth. Look, I'm happy. Look at my big exposed bones. And my fangs over here. And my big rodent-like teeth up here. Smile! So that was a very intuitive proof for me. Deaf and true. But we smile to show our teeth. But and then another thing, it was I think it was just a post or a meme. I don't think it was a meme. I think it was just a post on Reddit. But it was something like something about just something about aliens. And the post was like, you know, does alien life exist? And then uh, and the post was something to the effect of, you know, the reptilians that are hidden in the U.S. United States government winks. And so I have another direct quote on record that says, uh, I said they can, they, the, again, the Canadian thing where they can walk and walk down the street like us. Yeah, but I think, I think, because it, infiltrating the U.S. government, that'd be way, way, it's way too human emotion. It would just be scientists doing data observations. But th that, with, at Grafton Park, I, I was saying that out loud, and then someone walks by and said, we already know that. So... They are, I mean, they're, and again, I would post this stuff publicly if I had more than 43 fucking motherfucking subscribers. But I would live stream you how, how to interact with aliens, literally. And it's not difficult in any way. But human beings can't grow up. So that, that was just relevant to, again, to all of these people around me. People, the things that people cannot accept that are historically proven today that will, human beings cannot accept because of the sensibilities of their group, and it's not true. People just don't have any values. It's not, it's, there's no values in anything. 9-11, building, building, building 7 cannot fall down with no air. Neither of the Twin Towers can fall down with no air resistance without it being a bomb. Not even fucking possible. Aliens have been here, are here. There's a fuck ton of them. They're everywhere. There's data. They also have, oh, how do they get audio? Again, a vinyl record. Right? We talk about, we, you know, we are, our radio signals are so far away. But what would be the first thing you would send from an alien civilization to another planet? Like a, like a record. Like the Rosetta Stone type of deal, but for like alien shit. So I'm very confident they have a... Um, like a rock, like literally like a vinyl record, where if you put put something on it and rotate it, you can get audio off it. Literally just like a vinyl record, as well as if you again the same to the piano, where if you strum a piano chord and the other ones start vibrating, 
once you know what the frequencies are, you'll just start vibrating in the thing. So you can probably also probably get audio from there. So that's probably how they get audio, and I'm very confident that's what happened with the Bulgarian chick, because she would not, she would be, if she was speaking a native language, she knew she'd be able to respond to something. So 99% confident on that. But that's kind of the last on that, and that's just, again, where my life is at today. And anything else, oh yeah, cannabis is medicine, and again, we can't accept abortion, we can't accept masks, or we can't accept vaccines, of course we can't accept the big shit. And because of that, I am being fucking tortured by everybody. And another quote, how many of these people, people really don't know at this point, when there's a quote on, I turn on CNBC, and it's, everybody knows, nobody behaves, and I am being fucking tortured to the point where I can't put food in my mouth, chew and swallow. So again, just some more personal shout-outs. I want to give a shout-out to Thomas Alas, Patrick McGuire, Alex Rittenhouse, Garrett Cargan, and an, an, an additional shout-out to another, a repeat shout-out to Chad Ransom. I just saw my old friend Chad Ransom got a promotion at some company that's stealing from me. And we've been at, like, I'm 29 in a couple months, so these people have been working for seven years. I've also been working for long, I've been working for eight and a half, at the, again, my, my life started when I had to sell weed to live, and that was, that was the day I turned 20 years old. So going on nine years of literally no natural appetite, literally none. Every time I have to eat solid breakfast, I have to walk around, put food in my mouth, pace my room to chew and swallow. I am being profoundly and extensively tortured. But all of these people, Alex Rittenhouse, I wrote that, one of my, the, he's on one of my publications. But just fuck you, fuck you trashy fucking people. I'm glad your lives worked out. I'm glad you got handouts on a silver fucking platter. And once, once I'm done helping people move, then, then who really cares about me? And it's no problem. Chad Ransom, like you said, we're all out here living our own lives. You haven't heard from me once. You work for a company stealing my intellectual property and you're aware of my work. It's part of a conspiracy. It's part of a, part of a racket. It's fraudulent. And it's causing me profound damages. So if you guys really want me to fucking sue you, I will. I'm not kidding. I'll throw you in fucking prison. I'm not kidding. And so the, the Columbus, Ohio community cult wants to support each other and steal my fucking research to start their fucking families because I can't eat, I can't start a family, and I can't simply fucking leave to feel safe enough to eat. Well then, fuck you, it's on. And it is. Fuck your families. Fuck your trashy fucking families. Uh, the, the smoking soldier analogy and beer drinking, right? And this is another thing for the fat Bulgarian bitch at Grafton Park comes up to me again as she steals my property and she harasses me whenever she wants and then she just clocks out in her shift and goes, does whatever fuck she wants and lives her life. She says, literally walking in, you know, our apartments are kind of apart, but like, first, but this is at a first floor apartment, but like close enough where we can like see each other wave, but obviously we don't, we're not friendly. We're just, we just steal bread shit and because we're the most egotistical, selfish, arrogant cunts ever, i.e. law enforcement, because you guys are so stupid, all you can do to have a career is pick up a fucking gun because you're fucking trash. Well, she looks at me and again, I'm carrying, carrying a case of beer in. I don't, I don't need comments from any trashy fucking motherfucker stealing my shit. It's probably the alcohol. No, no, again, I can't eat food. I can't do anything. I have no freedom. I'm a fucking slave. Smoking cigarettes is bad, but if you're in the army, you might get your head blown off tomorrow. You might smoke a cigarette. The risk-reward calculation is a little different. Same with fucking drinking beer. And frankly, I have said I'm, I'm mature enough, I don't think... I just don't think it's bad, but my point is, is you're adding this extra stress. A soldier might get his head blown off tomorrow. I can't access human rights. So if I was locked in a fucking cell and someone dropped off a 12 to 15 pack of beer a day, damn straight I'm going to fucking drink it. And then on top of all of this shit, all of this stress, my neighbors are going to sit there and gossip and comment on shit today. It's like, enjoy your privilege. Enjoy your fucking privileged fucking life. I will never have a family. I will never have a life. I will never exist. I will never exist be treated with enough decency and respect as a human being to eat food, to generate an appetite, to feel safe enough to generate an appetite and eat. Won't happen. And people like to watch it, and that's a Lex Friedman, you just, you, you're a savage, man. It's just another narrative, a profound psychological struggle. Now nah, that's just, the, that's just the excuse you say for not standing up for what is right and torturing another person. I'm gonna throw you in prison, you're gonna die in fucking prison. I'm coming for all of your pennies, Joe Roman, fuck your family. Fuck your children, day one they turn 18, steal an intellectual property, fuck you. I mean, we try 14-year-olds as, as adults for murder. Why don't we try fucking 14-year-olds for fraud as, as adults when, when their entire lives are stealing from me? So you can't... How, how funny is that? You guys are literally so fucking stupid. You instinctually scapegoated me until slavery, and you can't teach your kids anything besides my behavior. So... But, uh... The... 
But I just want to say, you, you guys are 100% adding the stress. And again, beer drinking doesn't make me happy, doesn't make me sad. It's an activity to do throughout the fucking day, just like YouTube, just like going on a walk, just like doing my groceries. I don't get to make choices for myself. I don't. And then I get harassed on top of that. The Vatican and Christians praise the U.S. Supreme Court decision. Again, Jesus Christ with a 0% chance of being consistent with biological law. 0%. He didn't say spread. He didn't say spread Jesus. Or said the word of God, because God proved it. This is a proof. We prove things in languages. Languages don't matter. Sounds do. But yet the Vatican. Oh, the oh the pedophile hub. I mean the Vatican, and the Pope who steals from me lies about it, re relocates pedophiles, and then fuck the Catholic Church. Jesus fucking Christ. These are just fucking pedophiles and thieves. Dirty fucking thieves, and no one does more for human life than me. So yeah. Supreme Court decision. Yes, sir. Justice is being able to backtrack on an appointment confirmation statement. You know, a lot of the conservative justices saying, again, I didn't watch it. I don't want to go off Reddit posts, but I didn't watch the whole appointment hearings. But just should that be allowed, if, if that has occurred, no. You should not be allowed to do that. You should be disbarred, impeached, thrown off the court, whatever. Again, the Supreme Court's a bunch of fucking old dudes with robes on. Clarence Thomas should go be a fucking slave. He should go pick fucking cotton. He said... Uh, what did he say? Americans are more interested in their iPhones than Constitution. No, I lecture on the Constitution literally all day. Literally all day. I'm sitting at the pool, literally stating science facts. Literally signing the Constitution in real time. So, so speak for yourself, you privileged fucking old man. Uh, you should, in, in general, if you backtrack on, on an appointment confirmation statement at, at, a, at a high court, absolutely fucking not. Your word is your life, so fuck no. But $100 billion a day uh, for a group lawsuit for states banning pre-viability abortions or for any med valid medical exemption. Any, any danger to the mother at any point in time is absolutely valid for, for abortions, and that's completely consistent with Jewish law. So, again, which religion are we talking about? The Supreme Court rules teachers can lead students in prayer. Which religions? And then I saw, again, I, I, haven't, I haven't seen how this, this has played out a ton, but uh, there was, I was seeing like rumors about just being Christian prayers. Like, and then things, some quote about being Christian prayers as having commands. No, no, the commandments, but prayer is verse, right? So it's like, when you're talking and rambling about physics and math, that's still kind of like prayer. You're not saying, I, I hope well for all things, but you're using languages to form a verse. So define prayer for me. Supreme Court, and then just make up some fucking bullshit and say Christian only because again, what are Republicans? We love Jesus even though we have no idea who he is. We have no idea what the history was. We deny everything. We're completely inconsistent with biological law. We're judgmental as fuck. We go to church once a week, if that. Then we just say we're Christian even though it's a way of life, which we don't do. But we want to form a group, and we want to pump our insecurities through that group. So, Christian. Republican, Donald Trump, wave our flag, freedom, America, don't tell me what to do. And it's just whiny babies. So $100 billion a day for, for societal damages, every single state and whatever, uh, that sh I think that calculation should hurt. The GDP of Ohio last year was $900 billion, so most states should be fucking broken a month, if not you know, a couple weeks, and I'm not kidding. You were stealing my property. Pursuant to the Fifth Amendment, you were distributing my property, my pu private property, my private intellectual property for public use, and then you're lying about it and torturing me and causing mass damages. So fucking bring it. I saw uh, J.P. Morgan and Dix to pay out out-of-state abortion travel. I think Dix was 4,000. J.P. Morgan might be the same. And that's rookie shit. I'm going to sue the fucking states banning abortions for violating the law, for stealing my fucking property, and for lying about it. I'm going to put them in fucking bankrupt. Have a nice, have a nice day, you fucking hillbilly southern states. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Just got done fucking my cousin. Now I'm going to have a kid with three toes. Sick. Ugh. Some chick named Miller thanks Donald Trump and the Supreme Court for saving white life. LOL. Her lawyer. She was trying to save the right to life. LOL squared. No, she was at a Donald Trump rally, and she was reacting to the sentiment of a group, and they're all hidden racists, so they say, white life, the crowd's like, yeah! She starts clapping, like, I love, love, privilege, love privileged bimbos that all they ever do is perk up their tits and stuff their pussy full of dick to get attention. They start clapping, and she's clapping like this. Make a round of applause! 
No, she meant to say white life because she was reacting to the sentiment of the group and their lo lawyer lies because that's what lawyers do. And they're all trash. And <laughs> they're everyone's fucking trash. Conservative Twitter and liberal Twitter reactions. Again, I'm on Twitter again strictly for news, 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 news points. But we have people like, and I'm literally just scrolling now, why isn't Twitter in like chronological order? I only follow like 50 people and I just all the people with blue check marks just click those ones real fast. But Bimbo Barrett, and then where we have Steven Crowder, oh rip Jim J Jim Jordan, that guy's from Ohio. Fuck you, Jim Jordan, you steal my shit. I am pro-life, I will be appointing pro-life judges. I think that if blah, 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 right again, Representative Jim Jordan, I hope you get in a car accident for real and die. It is not a threat, but you people are stealing from me. You are lying about it, and then you're fucking killing people. You are making actions that result in death, and you're too stupid. Jim Jordan, go drown yourself in a lake, you stupid fuck. You're going to go to fucking pr prison. Proudly serving Ohio's beautiful 4th District. Ohio's a bunch of fucking inbreds. Fucking trash. Jim Jordan, fuck your fucking family. And fuck your fucking life. As soon as your children go, if you have, if some dumb bitch spread her pussy lips to let you come in her, and you have kids, the minute they turn 18 they are being sued, just fuck you. Just fuck you. Ben Shapiro, sorry Catholicism isn't, is happening to you. You guys don't know what Catholicism is. Um, but abortion is murder. Murder ends a life. A non -sent, a sentient, dependent odd being is not life. It's not alive. It's not independent sentience. It isn't. So again, we just oversimplify. We form incorrect definitions. Then we go to our group and say, yeah, we have the same insecurity and the same no values. Kids! And it's not. I saw, I saw a picture of someone tweeting like, can you seriously say this is a baby human life? And then somebody else being like, of course it is. And it's like a fetus of an elephant and of a dog. So, again, they're just, they're just biologically incorrect. So, again, I can't make stupid people that failed high school biology class that wanted to run, to have a job and run for politics and then say values and they don't have any. You have to experience life to develop values. And you guys don't experience life because you're so privileged. Um, but that's basically it. The left freaking out that they have to maybe, maybe travel across state for human, for, and again, let's focus on what's a right. Again, right is based off common sense, common law. That is biological law. And so, are you doing, the Constitution saying, we have a right to this, it's like not a very good legal or just biological argument. You don't have a lot of rights, to be honest. Again, it's set up by the Constitution, at least in the United States or any of, and I don't, it's not like I think other countries are like, it's not like I have fantasy island over there on a different country besides the United States. I just, it's like having a girlfriend that cheated on you. It's not like you're, it's not like the next girlfriend I'm going to get thinks going to be perfect or close to it, but I'm just going to go fuck the chick that just cheated on me. So it's like, and again, that's, that's an analogy. I'm a virgin, super virgin. I think my first kiss grew back. I have not had any flirtatious interaction whatsoever, not even physical contact, in 10 years. Nice. Maybe nine. Maybe nine to be accurate on that. But that's pretty much it for Republicans saying, don't kill babies, and they're not babies. Babies is alive. A, a life is an independent, sentient being, and that is not what a fetus is. Um, is that it? Yeah, that is it for the Roe versus Wade abortion Supreme Court and Mississippi 15-week ban. Because again, the, the the case is really upholding the Mississippi law to ban weeks at 15 weeks. Which again, I, I would never like make that a law. I would never make that a law. But I'm not against that because again, on an individual level, make a fucking choice. But making it illegal it pisses me off. 100 billion dollars a day. Fuck you. You guys don't know what type of damages you're doing to society, and you don't care because you're fucking stupid. And all of, anyone with a blue check mark, anyone with any sort of notoriety, you are stealing from me, and I'm coming for you full bore if I ever stop being a fucking slave. If I ever have access to court. If Clarence Thomas, I ever have access to that constitution that you guys piss on every day and build your families off stolen property from me. Moving on. Kids five and under approved for COVID vaccines. My thoughts as, on shots as a kiddo. Again, as an adult, and again, as an adult that reads fundamental physical enlightenment. Now, you don't say that silly, you say, wow, look at me. Like, I don't fear. What's that? Regret. What is that? I mean, again, if you... I watch scary movies like this, so it's not like I don't have a fear response, but, like, like when, once you get to a certain level of maturity, you can't be, like, afraid. You can't be regretful. You can't really be insecure in any way. Again, unless you're actively being harassed to the point you can't eat food. But it's, like, insecurity. Like, I'm sad. I need attention. I need someone to respect me. When I say I need to fit into the society, pay me money. That's fitting into society. Then I can go make choices for myself. I can go buy new clothes. I can choose to go on a trip. I can choose to travel to a different state for a couple days. Just go check out the, park, the, the nature parks. 
But I can't do that with, with, with record inflation and no income. I can't. I can't fucking do that. But 100% good, again, biologically, data is data. But again, if you're not dead, your biology is doing pretty good. And some, some sensitivity to proteins for younger children, but it, I'd say 80% kind of like the same in puberty is the big difference. But my thoughts on a kid, again, shots as an adult bother me zero. As a kid, terrified. So all those little kiddos out there, I, I, I support you. I believe in you. There's just a little poke, just a little jab, a little boop. But as a kid, I would absolutely cry, scream, hate shots as a kid. So I feel for all those little kiddos out there. So that was a bit, I, I remember, God, I don't know when the first one I remember, but getting a shot was like a big anticipation, anticipatory thing. So I feel for all those little kiddos out there that are feeling uneasy to get, get poked in the arm. But you can do it. You can do it. 22 found dead in South African club. It was 14 to 19 year olds. Bodies, quote, bodies were strewn over tables with no obvious signs of injury. So this was weird. I, like when I saw the headline, I don't know if it was like a shooting or what was going on here. But it kind of looks like a, like a poisoning, maybe intentional or maybe like unintentional. It has like bootleg alcohol, but kind of an eerie story. We'll see if anything comes out of that. I've not seen any further news. That was a couple days ago. There was a shooting at a gay club in Oslo. I believe that's Norway, Finland, Sweden, Norway. I think it's Norway. Sorry, sorry, Scandinavia. But I think there was two shot there, two dead, and like eight shot or something. Oh no, eight, eight shot, sorry, wrong shooting. But that one was in Norway. And I think it was like the first one in several years there. And over here in America, it's just honest, like, which ones are big enough to make the news locally? So we have eight shot at a rave dance party in Tacoma, Washington. Probably, probably got to get those fags. Got to get those fags. Is a hot dog a sandwich? No. Form indicates function. There's a clear difference between a circular bun for a sandwich or a square piece of bread for a sandwich versus a length, a girthy, elongated tube for a hot dog. So this was a question kind of a while back that I saw in a lot of things, but no. It is form equals function, and hot dogs and sandwiches have de definitively different forms. So no, a hot dog is not a sandwich. It is hereby ruled by the high court a hot dog is not a sandwich. I need to, I need to do it. I didn't realize the G7. Like I thought, again, I keep thinking I'm going to get human rights at some point. So I did the G69 summit as a joke last year. We're doing the G7 again, so it's about time for the second annual G69. So I'm going to put that together. <laughs> but again, I am honestly being fucking tortured. If you do not eat food, you fucking die. I can't comfortably eat food, and I have no way to resolve that, and nobody will do anything. Like, like my brother texted me this morning. Hey man, hey B, I heard you picked out a house, congrats homie, thanks, can't eat though, sorry to hear that man, being tortured, words don't matter at all, no one supports my work and I can't start a career or family, my life is fucking disgusting, I wish I was never born, I don't, like I said, I don't say that emotionally, I say that as a statement of fact, and it's true, 0% suicidal, never have been, how do I live, this is not a functioning society, there's no way I can just leave, if you pay me my money, I can just leave, you won't pay me my money. But, but it's fucking true. Like, I don't want to live in this house. I don't want to live in Columbus. I can't get a girlfriend here. Like, I, I see the same people on Tinder every day, and I don't get fucking matches. None. Zero. I have never gotten a date off of social media app. And I've been on them since college. Ugh. But again, it's, it, it, it's the only thought in my head. Like, when I say I need to fit in, I don't need to play beer pong with Jason at the pool. I don't need, or John at the pool. I don't need Jason to come up for small talk. I need someone to respect my research, or at least pay me, so I can feel decent enough to eat. That's it. It's fucking it. <sighs> but people that are in the privileged group, and I am over here, I'm not in any of this group. I am a one human being over here that is allowed to be tortured and, and actively encouraged to do so when people get slightly offended for four seconds, and then they won't let me in the group, and they have all of these privileges they never thought about. When's the last time, even if you live on $40,000 a year, you would probably make the choice of what to budget your money on. I, I don't have a choice because this literally basic rent, utilities, expenses for businesses that I'm trying to do, and odds and ends like 100 bucks here, 75 bucks here. Oh, my car breaks down, 1,000 bucks on the brakes. Oh, I need new dish, need new aluminum foil. Well, that shit's like $30 for a 400 square foot roll anymore. So it's like fucking Christ. All of this and financial stress is a real headspace. And now all of that financial stress paired with literally being a slave at the society level is un undocumented, for real. And I get the privilege of living in, and it's torture. 
Other human beings are fucking torturing me. Nobody cares. Oh, oh. Rudy Giuliani barely survives a deadly assault in verbal battery. Hey, what's up, you scumbag? And fuck Rudy Giuliani, the guy that says, and I quote from Mafia States of America, might be paraphrasing a little bit, but murder wasn't the, wasn't the go-to, but it was always an option. Talking about politicians, which is, that's good to know. Again, and then he gets slapped on the fucking back. Oh my gosh! Dudes that will send fucking hits and then 20 years go by and be like, be respectful of me is this honestly fucking hilarious to me. As a fucking scapegoat, I expect to be fucking mind to be blown the fuck away by you fucking trash every fucking day. That's what slaves do. You beat me when you want to beat me. You clear your belt when, it, when you want to clear your belt. I just want my money to leave. But it was a light tap on the back and hey, what's up, you scumbag. I think, I think he did have him arrested, which is amazing. If you're a privileged politician, you can have people arrested for slapping you on the back and saying, hey, what's up, scumbag. And if you're a normal person and you get tortured for 20 years, no one will fucking help you. And again, the people from Central, I can't say enough. I want Central Ohio, all the fuck, St. Paul, Westerville, uh, DeSales, Ohio State University community. I want you guys to go to prison. I want you guys to go to prison and lose all your fucking money. You've already lived your lives, and I can't live mine at all. And you guys won't support my research. It's so amazing. I gotta see my buddy Chad Ransom's post get like 200 likes for a new job, and all the, like the, some of the parents from the, the community, you know, congrats, congrats. It's like, why can't those people, like, again, call their bosses? Again, I don't know anyone that would have 12 million. I'm so sure somebody in our community probably does. My parents might. I don't fucking know. But, because again, my mom says $4 million is not a lot of money, and then when I tell her I owe 12 million, she says it's not a lot of money, and then when, when, when I ask for $700 more a month because I can't make my own money because of criminal activity as law enforcement are standing outside my door, it's, well, you gotta go do something. And I would love to. What, what could I possibly fucking do? What could I possibly do that I haven't done besides, like, visual art, drawing, and painting? Nothing. Like, like literally, actually, goddamn fucking nothing. I just want to be treated with respect. My mom opened my financial mail with a multi-million dollar net worth a month ago. As I'm trying to go to court against everybody. The actual legal papers, fucking motherfucking bring it. But Rudy Giuliani, what a privileged man. You can eat food, you can get some patch on the back and say, hey, what's up, scumbag, and get him arrested. <laughs> what a privileged piece of fucking trash. Die in shame, you worthless old man. Nothing works. My Spectrum app can't change the channel anymore. Spectrum F. Fucking F. Literally, literally, Spectrum, you, you have to pay extra for like a console and a controller. So I just, I have an app on my Xbox. So hopefully my Xbox doesn't burn out for having to watch TV all day. And then, but I literally go to change the channel and on Spectrum, I have my Xbox controller. If you click right, you get the guide and that works fine. But if you click down, you get the recently viewed channels. And so every time I click down, it glitches and restarts. So every time I want to change channel on Spectrum, which is the only cable provider where I'm at, I have to literally scroll through every channel. Literally. So, fucking Spectrum. No hidden fees. Get my bill. Other charges. Well, uh, 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 oh, or it's best, best internet for gaming. Oh, you can't change the channel, though. You know, my shit still lags. So that's cool. I could probably put a direct connection from the Xbox to the TV to stop the gaming lag. But it, well, the gaming lag doesn't lag bad. But the changing the channels every time I try to change the fucking channel. It's been going like that for like five days now. So that's cool, I can't even change my fucking channel without scrolling through every single channel. Uh, and finishing up this episode, what's in my headphones? Luke Combs' album and Chris Brown album both came out recently. Not exactly sure if the Chris Brown album came out recently, but both playthroughs. I listened to the Luke Combs one several, several times through growing up, definitely recommend. And Chris Brown, Breezy. I don't think I've listened to all of them. This, this is a longer album. I think it's an hour and 20 minutes, but 24 songs. But every song I've heard on here, I've liked as well. So I heavily recommend Breezy and Growing Up, I think, by Luke Combs. Yes. Thoroughly enjoyed both those albums. So that is with my headphones. I, I'm genuinely begging people to please please find enough decency to allow me to live. That, that when, when the Vatican can, 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 can praise the U.S. Supreme Court for valuing human life, please value my human life. Because people don't get it. Yes, I'm prolific. I would do 10x this, and I want to. And, and, and people, that's, not, that's not saying, wow, I'm a hard worker. He's just going to keep going. He's just going to keep working. Kevin O'Leary, even after I'm dead, I'm just going to keep working. No, no, I can. I would like to use my talents. I'd like to use my talents to benefit the future. Somebody in some class in the future is going to care about what I do today. 
And the more work I can do, the more I can fucking contribute. I have the most prolific career in academics ever, and I'd like to use it. And all I can do is think about food all day. All fucking day. Because even if I'm not sitting down, again, getting over breakfast is a thought every fucking morning. I just want to be able to relax and be creative. And that's a real thing. Oh, I knew my life would never be changed again, or would never be the same again. I, I need to eat food. And, and, and I want that to be the big change in my life. When, when, when can I know that I'm never going to struggle to eat again? And it's not the money. It's the fucking respect. It's the constant harassment. It's stealing my property every day. It's torturing me. It's disrespecting me. And then all these people who don't know, they just gang up on me. They don't know how to behave. They don't know anything. Fucking Christ. So I told those people that said teaching sports to kids helps them grow up. No, it teaches them to be selfish and compete over nothing. Anybody out there that says, I'm a competitive person, or a selfish and insecure person that likes to compete. And when the best person in the room walks in, you're going to say, never mind, let's change the rules, kick them out. And now I'm a slave. I'm a real fucking slave. And I'm begging people just to treat me with enough respect so I can eat food. Please. I would like to make a choice for myself. The most basic choice you can do is to eat. And I can't. My name is Brad Bowes. I'm being profoundly and extensively tortured. There is nothing I can do. There is nowhere I can go, and there is no one I can call. I am going to be tortured until the day that I die. Thank you for watching Language Litigation Integration Part 130, Casual Conversations 54.